two pilots, fuel tanks, electronics, weapon systems, radars, hydraulics. Everything the B-2 needs to fly, fight and survive is packed inside its wing. No separate fuselage, no tail section, just one giant floating boomerang. Look up and you might spot it, a black arrow slicing through the sky. No markings, no hard angles. This is the B-2 Spirit, America's stealth bomber and one of the most expensive aircraft ever built. Price tag? Over $2 billion per unit. The B-2 was born during the Cold War, designed for one job, slip undetected into enemy airspace, deliver a devastating punch, and disappear. Thanks to its revolutionary design, radar barely sees it. But what's hidden beneath that black skin is even more fascinating. How does a two-person crew survive a 40-hour mission sealed inside a metal cocoon with no windows behind them? How does a machine that's all wing, no body, keep flying, refueling and delivering its payload across oceans? In this video, we're not just cracking open the B-2, we're stepping inside. From the Spartan life of the crew to the cutting-edge tech that keeps this beast in the air, no science fiction, no hype, just the raw, astonishing reality. So strap in, because what's happening inside the wing of the B-2? You won't see it anywhere else. Inside the B-2 Spirit's wing, you'll find one of the loneliest workplaces on Earth. The cockpit is compact, with two seats side by side. The left belongs to the mission commander, the right the pilot. Behind them, on long missions, B-2 crews routinely spend 30 to 40 hours airborne. There's no standing up to stretch, no walk in the galley. Mental endurance is just as demanding. Flying at night over enemy territory under radio silence takes intense concentration. Crews rotate rest periods. One pilot naps while the other stays alert, watching fuel levels, navigation, and systems. Autopilot does part of the work, but humans oversee everything, especially when near hostile air defenses. Mid-air refueling is its own nerve-wracking ritual. The B-2 links up with a tanker using a boom that connects overhead. No room for error, especially at night or in turbulence. A glowing light system on the tanker guides the B-2 into position, but the final corrections rely on the pilot's hands and eyes. What's even wilder is that there's no bathroom door, no privacy curtain, and no relief from the noise of the engines and fans. Crews train for this, not just technically, but psychologically. In interviews, B-2 pilots talk about the importance of trust, calm, and mental focus. There's no room for panic or second-guessing when you're sealed in a stealth machine halfway across the world, flying over a denied zone. What does a crew think about in those silent hours? They're constantly running what-if scenarios. What if we lose an engine? What if a system fails? What if radar picks us up? Staying ahead of the game is part of survival. So while the world marvels at the B-2's sleek silhouette, the real marvel is often the human side. Two people locked inside a wing, balancing extreme precision, endurance, and nerves of steel. So why does the B-2 look like no other bomber? It's all about the flying wing. A flying wing is exactly what it sounds like. No fuselage, no vertical stabilizers, no tail. Just one continuous aerodynamic surface. This radical design reduces the aircraft's radar signature by eliminating sharp angles and surfaces that bounce radar waves back to enemy systems. But there's a catch. Flying wings are inherently unstable. Without a tail to provide balance, they need constant corrections to stay level. That's where the B-2's fly-by-wire system comes in. Instead of relying on manual inputs alone, four redundant onboard computers make thousands of tiny adjustments every second, nudging the elevons, which are combined elevators and ailerons, 
and rudder splitters to keep the aircraft stable. The shape isn't just stealthy, it's efficient. With less drag, the B-2 can fly farther and carry heavier payloads than traditional designs. Its wingspan stretches a massive 52 meters, that's 172 feet. Yet it has no vertical fins to betray its presence on radar. Even the engines are buried deep within the wing. With serpentine intakes and exhausts designed to cool the heat signature before it even reaches the outside world. Northrop Grumman didn't invent the flying wing. Early experimental models date back to the 1940s, but they perfected it for stealth. The B-2 surface is carefully contoured so radar waves glide over it without reflecting. And where angles are unavoidable, like around a cockpit canopy, they're meticulously aligned to scatter radar energy away from the source. Interestingly, this design made the B-2 almost unfit to fly without computers. Early prototypes were so sensitive that even a gust of wind could push them off balance. That's why the B-2 depends on its avionics, not just its airframe, to function. Flying a wing-only bomber is like balancing a pencil on your fingertip, but with millions of dollars and national security on the line. It's a marvel of engineering, blending the dream of pure aerodynamics with the brutal demands of modern warfare. From the outside, the B-2's wing looks like a simple, smooth, black surface. But it's anything but simple. Every inch of the B-2's exterior is covered in radar-absorbing material, or RAM, a carefully engineered coating that eats radar waves instead of bouncing them back. This stealth skin is incredibly delicate. Even rain, dust, or bird strikes can damage it, requiring constant maintenance. That's why B-2s are housed in specially climate-controlled hangars called dock shelters, which regulate humidity and temperature to protect the coating. The shape of the wing is just as critical. There are no right angles, no vertical surfaces, no protruding antennas. The air inlets for the engines sit on top of the wing, hidden behind curved lips designed to shield them from radar. The exhausts are flat and wide, cooling the hot engine gases before they leave the aircraft, reducing the heat signature visible to infrared sensors below. Even the edges of the wing play a role. The leading edge, or the front, is razor thin, while the trailing edge, or the back, has a distinctive zigzag called the serrated edge, designed to break up radar reflections. These sawtooth patterns scatter radar energy in multiple directions, making it harder for enemy systems to lock on. Maintenance crews spent hundreds of hours inspecting and repairing the B-2's exterior after every mission. A tiny bubble or a chip in the coating can compromise its stealth profile. Sometimes, technicians apply RAM by hand, using custom tools and stencils. Even the screws are covered with special caps to make sure that the surface is smooth. One fascinating fact, when a B-2 flies through rain, it can become slightly visible on radar because the water disrupts the smoothness of the surface. That's why weather isn't just a flying condition for the B-2, it's a stealth factor. Mission planners carefully check forecasts to avoid unnecessary exposure. The B-2's wing isn't just a piece of metal, it's actually a living skin almost. Carefully maintained and engineered for one job, stay invisible. From the materials to the contours, every exterior detail works toward one goal, making the bomber a ghost in the sky. Step inside the wing of the B-2 and you enter a world packed tight with life-supporting systems, but no empty spaces. The first thing you'd notice is the fuel. The B-2's wing holds massive fuel tanks spread across its span carefully balanced to maintain the aircraft's center of gravity. These tanks can carry over 75,000 pounds, that's about 34,000 kilograms, of fuel, giving the bomber an unrefueled range of more than 6,000 nautical miles. But fuel isn't just stored, it's actively managed. Pumps shift fuel between tanks mid-flight to maintain stability as weight shifts during a mission. Weaving around the tanks is a network of hydraulic lines, electrical cables, and cooling ducts. The B-2's systems are densely packed, using every inch of space. Hydraulic systems power flight control surfaces like elevons and rudder splitters, 
Electrical cables connect avionics, sensors and communications gear spread throughout the aircraft. Cooling systems prevent critical electronics from overheating, circulating air and liquid coolant through the hidden channels. The wing's skeleton is equally as impressive. Made mostly of carbon fiber composites, the B-2 is about 90% non-metallic. This material is light yet incredibly strong. And it has another advantage. It helps to reduce the radar signature by absorbing energy rather than reflecting it. Beneath the smooth outer skin, composite ribs, spars and honeycomb panels form a rigid but lightweight frame. Unlike some military aircraft, the B-2 carries no weapons inside the wing itself. Instead, its bombs and missiles are tucked into two central internal bays beneath the fuselage line, preserving the wing's sleek profile. The wing, however, hosts critical avionics, radar arrays, navigation systems, electronic warfare gear and communication antennas, all buried out of sight. Maintenance access is limited. Crews reach many components through small hatches or panels, often crawling into confined spaces. Engineers designed the B-2 not for easy access, but for minimal exposure. The less you open it up, the less risk of compromising its stealth features. It's easy to picture the B-2 as a hollow shell with a cockpit stuck in front, but the reality is denser and more intricate. Every section of the wing is packed with purpose, layered with systems that together keep the bomber flying, hidden and lethal. Because the B-2 has no tail or vertical stabilizers, it's inherently unstable. Any gust of wind or shift in weight could send it tumbling, if it weren't for the fly-by-wire system. This is a quadruple redundant computer network that constantly monitors the bomber's attitude, speed and position, making micro-adjustments on the pilot's behalf. The key players? The elevons and the split-brake rudders. Elevons are combined elevator and aileron surfaces along the trailing edge of the wing, controlling pitch, which is the up and down movement, and roll side to side. When the pilot pulls back, both elevons rise. When they roll left, one elevon goes up, the other goes down. For yaw, or turning left to right, the B-2 uses split brake rudders. That's panels on the wingtips that open like clamshells to create drag on one side. Even the engines play a role in steering. By slightly increasing or decreasing thrust on one side, the B-2 can adjust its heading without adding extra surfaces that would show up on radar. Every move is calculated not just for control, but for stealth. Another trick? Radar-absorbing coatings don't just cover the outer skin, they're also inside certain air ducts and cavities, reducing radar bounce back from interior surfaces. Even communication antennas are embedded flush with the surface or hidden behind stealth-compatible panels. What makes all this work is the coordination between human and machine. Pilots provide the intent, direction, altitude, mission changes, but the fly-by-wire computers execute it with precision, keeping the aircraft stable, stealthy, and on target. Without this delicate ballet of control surfaces, engine management, and stealth tech, the B-2 would be just an awkward flying wing. With it, it becomes one of the most advanced and survivable bombers ever built. A typical mission can last over 30 hours. In 2020, B-2s flew from Missouri to Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean, a 37-hour round trip. During operations over the Middle East, crews have pulled off non-stop global strike missions, made possible only by aerial refueling. But why so long? The B-2 was designed to hit any target on Earth without relying on foreign bases. Its 6,000 nautical mile range extends dramatically when paired with tankers. Refueling midair isn't just a top-off, it's a lifeline. Without it, the B-2's ability to project power globally would be cut in half. These marathon missions aren't just hard on the plane. They also push the crew to the edge and beyond. Sleep deprivation cramped space, and continuous systems monitoring create physical and mental strain. Crews are trained to rotate duties, manage fatigue, and rely on checklists to stay sharp. Military researchers have even studied crew sleep patterns to improve performance during ultra-long missions. But the B-2's toughest challenge is survival in contested airspace. 
While it's nearly invisible to radar, no aircraft is invincible. Modern air defenses are improving, with multi-band radars, infrared sensors, and advanced interceptors designed to hunt stealth platforms. That's why the B-2 is constantly updated. New radar-absorbing coatings, electronic countermeasures, and improved communication systems help it stay ahead of emerging threats. And when all else fails, mission planners rely on tactics. Flying at low altitudes, exploiting radar blind spots, or coordinating with other assets like drones and fighters to mask its presence. Even with these defenses, every mission carries a risk. A B-2 flying deep into enemy territory operates on a razor's edge. Invisible, but not untouchable. In short, the B-2 isn't just a marvel of technology, it's a test of human and machine endurance, where every hour in the air is a calculated dance between stealth, range, and survival. So what have we learned? Inside the sleek black wing of the B-2 spirit lies a world of precision, fuel tanks shifting the balance of the aircraft, computers quietly correcting every wobble, and two pilots locked in a metal cocoon, guiding one of the world's most advanced bombers across continents. It's easy to admire the B-2 from the outside, that alien-looking silhouette cutting across the sky, but the real story is what happens inside. It's a place where technology meets human endurance, where every system, surface, and screw works toward one goal. Staying hidden, staying lethal, and coming home. And here's a fun thought for you to think about. If you had the chance to spend just one hour in the cockpit of a B-2, what's the first thing you'd want to see or ask the crew? Drop your answers in the comments. We read them all and you might inspire a future video. If you enjoyed this dive into one of aviation's most mysterious machines, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to go a step further to support this channel directly, please join the fleet. You'll get loyalty badges, priority responses, and help us bring more true military stories to the surface. Just click join on our channel page and get on board. The B-2 spirit proves one thing. Sometimes the most incredible stories are hidden in plain sight, or in this case, inside a wing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next mission.